Matthias from Retired and Living the Dream. Today's video is going to be about a little bit about insurance and the requirements needed for the OA visa or if you come to Thailand and you apply for the O visa. Now this is my own personal opinion about it all and my own opinion is the fact that I think the OA visa is a very bad deal in comparison to what other insurance you can get. Now I'm going to cross-reference a couple of companies here is uh, Liberty Mutual now this was for the OA visa I got this off one of our insurance agents to, so I can give some some prices and some reasons for maybe he's not taking it and trying to get an OA visa once you come to Thailand and the other insurance which I got which is from Pacific Cross now this is the one that I actually use so, so I'm going to give you some figures now the OA visa it says that you have to have cover for the duration of your stay here in Thailand. So let's use the example that you're going to stay here for a year. So therefore you require the insurance to last for a year. And the minimum amount of insurance required on the OA visa is 400,000 baht and a outpatient of 40,000 baht. Now I'm going to use my age as an example because that's all I can do is comparison. I'm going to put some pictures up here of the different prices for different age age groups and then you'll be able to do your comparison yourself. So anyway, going on to the OA visa. Excuse me, I'm just going to look in the documentation so I get it correctly. So here you'll see the highlighted group of 61 to 70 year old. Now I fall in that category because I'm 62 years old this year. Now my biggest gripe with this OA visa is what the government require is the fact that there's a hundred thousand baht deductible so therefore if you're getting a four hundred thousand baht insurance cover before you even start claiming off of the insurance company you have to pay the first hundred thousand baht and I think that's a lot of money to pay so the premium for a 61 to 70 year old is 15,200 per year and then you have to pay the first 100,000 baht of any one claim. So plan one, it's for a coverage of 440,000 baht, and that is for a premium of 15,200 baht per year. Now we say the plans that they do is for 440,000, 550,000, 660,000, and that includes your outpatients of um, 40,000, 50,000 and 60,000. So the cost of the 440,000 baht one is 15,200, the 550,000 is 20,800 and for the 660,000 it's 26,400 baht. Now in comparison if you have a look at this one with Pacific Cross with no deductibles but my cover with Pacific Cross is actually 700,000 baht and there's no deductibles to pay on that and there's no outpatients cover but the, the premium for that for me is 24,885 baht per year. They also do a cover for a, a million baht and 1.5 million. So for a million baht it's 37,460 and for 1.5 million it's 46,000 baht 811. I think it's better value if you come here say on a tourist visa and then get the O visa. You get better coverage and for a cheaper price in my opinion. But on, on this one, Liber Liberty Mutual, they also do a 200,000 baht deductible. <clears throat> so basically, basically, you're insuring yourself for 440,000 baht, but you're actually only covering yourself for 240,000 because you said you'll pay the first 200,000 baht. But that does bring the premiums down to this, 7,700 baht for the cheapest cover for, for 400,000. Now my thinking is, is this, it, it's... You're sort of paying for an insurance that you just to tick all the boxes to get the OA visa. And that's why I think there's a big shift away from the OA visa and to the people once they're coming to Thailand, they're going to get the O visa. Now, there's no guarantee that you will get the O visa if you come to Thailand. If you come on a tourist visa for 45 days and extend it for another 45 days, which gives you 90 days, and within them 90 days you could self-qualify for being able to come here on an O visa. So at the moment I think you've got a better chance of getting an O visa from a tourist visa because they, they just want lots of tourists and lots of retirees to come here to Thailand to pump up their economy again. 
So th that was just a, a quick video with regard to my feelings of the OA visa insurance and what it's lacking. And it's just in my mind, just a way of ticky box to say, yes, you've got insurance. But at the end of the day, you've got to pay the first at least 100,000 baht. And then there's my in other insurance, which I will recommend, is the Pacific Cross. Now I've been with Pacific Cross for many years now. And I've always had insurance for the past 10 years that I've lived here in Thailand. And I think insurance is a very important. But I've done this other video here, and it's the cost of actually going to a public hospital with no insurance. Sadly, my friend was taken into hospital and he's just had to spend five days in a public hospital. And in this video, I go into detail how much it costs for my friend to go have the initial consultation with a doctor in the hospital. Then in a few days later, sadly, he was admitted to the hospital because his condition had got worse. So he's actually spent five days in hospital. And I'm going to go through the costs on this video here. So if you want to see the costs of how much it's going to cost if you go to a public hospital, if you've got no insurance, watch this video. So from Les, retired and living the dream in Thailand. Till the next video, bye for now.